What's up, guys? Let's uh, drink a cup of programming coding today because I'm going to talk about this way to actually program on the tablet. So anyone that wants to program for a hobby or is interested in learning, there's a special app called QPython. The, it's, Q stands for Quater Lab. In Python, you know what that is. It's the programming language. So there's many others out there. You just gotta look really close. But here's an ex this is just an example. So I got the here's a program I've been working on. I've been building it for people that go shopping. And oh god dang it! I accidentally deleted my parentheses there. So someone's probably watching this video and knows how to program right now, and is thinking. God dang, dude, why do you have so many if and else statements? Just make a dictionary or a library or something. Well, you know what? I'm too lazy to do that, even though I did all of this. So, let's try out the program. Let's say, me, I buy a $50 game, $25 Xbox card, and then I'll win the lottery. And then, that's like a lot of money so as you see it added in extra taxes there so let's see uh, so if you win the lottery they tax money from you so let's see about that so one zero 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 one million dollars comes out to one million ninety three so you'd only end up getting 900, about $917,500. So $917,500 if you won a million dollars due to federal taxes in my state. So let's go check this out in the app store, will we? So search up Q Python. Ah, a little mess up there, but you know who cares. So they got some compilers, different languages. Pyth there's also a, a Academy here, and there's also Lua on Android. But that one cost money to do Lua. Python's free though. So, if anyone's out there that needs to do Lua or something, then there you go. Lua is just, someone doesn't know what Lua is, it's an extension to an app. It's mainly used for modding. Modding Minecraft, modding Gary's Mod, stuff like that. So, let's look in the app here. It's designed for phones, but works on tablets, so don't worry about that. It's a script engine that runs Python, but also allows you to program Python. So, that's good. As I showed you guys earlier. Now let's read more on it. In a second I'll show you guys a compiler. If you want to if you want to turn into an exe file. And use it for more farther advanced terms. So only 11.83 megabytes. So if you don't have not much memory. Then there you go. Made by QPython. Which is Quisit Lab. Like I said earlier. And it's made in China Beijing. Not many times do you see apps coming from there so good job to you guys so I'll slowly scroll through here if anyone wants to see any of these now this app actually run it actually emulates the original Linux too some old stuff right some old st stuff they're using in that app surprisingly but it's good for learning so, let's look at this compiler. I used to use this app. You turn it into exe files, and I uh, and you can also program in different uh, things, Python or anything. It'll let you do some simple programs, but to do bigger ones, you'd have to have actual apps. It's made by Motion Apps. You turn it, it enables you to turn things into. Okay, here is. The program languages it'll do C, C, Java, JavaScript, Python, Haskell, Perl, PHP, C Sharp, and Ruby. So, if any of you guys need to do some simple programming, you can learn on this one. 
But for bigger ones, I'd recommend finding an actual app specifically for that. So it's only 1.82 megabytes because it's just a compiler, of course. And and it can't process that much, so small apps. But, but it does have a code to compile big programs into usable stuff, which it does know how to run that, but you can't actually make big programs on it. So it's offered by Motion Apps. They didn't, it doesn't have a location, but their developer email is motionappsworld at gmail.com. That's always good. Alright, so stop sucking down that breakfast full of coding and come back for the next episode.